so we have an exciting day today. We're on the way down to check out Snapchat, which is in Santa Monica. Then I'm gonna pick up my sister from the airport as she's gonna be in LA with us for a week, which is super exciting. I was really hoping the weather was gonna hold out for her, like sunshine, and so far it has. I just wanted her to arrive in some good weather, you know. We arrived in rain, so I mean, anything's better than that, really. <laughs> um, I was up at 7 a.m. this morning, so I'm probably gonna be just as tired as she is when she arrives. Actually, no, that's, that's not true at all. Like, the time difference. She, when she arrives, it's going to be like the middle of the night for her. She's going to be in, have been traveling for ages. So she's probably going to want to go straight to bed, but I'm not going to let her. I'm going to make her stay up until at least nine o'clock. It's for her own good. <laughs> so this is Snap HQ. I'm excited to see what it's like inside. We actually made such good timing. It said we were going to be 20 minutes late and we're only three minutes late. <laughs> Jolly Rancher in my mouth. Sorry about that. I didn't really think about it when I turned the camera on. I always have a blue tongue. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't want to see that. We've just pulled over at a cafe that we're meeting my sister at. So I think she's actually here somewhere. Bernie's just gone to find her. Snap school was really good. I, I've been to another uh, I've been to another snap school in London and it was kind of similar, but this one it was better in some ways and worse in other ways. Basically, the food we got at, in the UK and like the the swag, I would say, was kind of better. But the vibe here, I would say, was better. Like the energy was better here. Apparently, it was the biggest snap school they've had in LA as well, which is kind of cool. One thing I'm really bad at that I need to get better at is like networking and talking to people that I don't know. Like if someone doesn't talk to me, I'm probably not gonna strike up conversation with someone new. And like at the beginning, they did the whole thing which was like, hey, put your hand up if you wanna stand up and introduce yourself to the rest of the people, which was like 120 people or something. That is one of my worst fears. Like I can do public speaking, like I've been on live TV and that doesn't feel quite as bad as sticking my hand up to be like, Hey guys, I'm Eloise. <laughs> I make cooking content. That to me just sounds awful. But everyone, well not everyone else, like a handful of people did it. And I was just like, oh my God, don't pick me, don't pick me. So um, so yeah, that's something I need to get better at. It's just like talking to random people that I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna go meet my sister and then I don't know what we're doing. Is she here? Oh, she's here. So the first thing we're doing is taking my sister up Runyon Canyon. <laughs> She's nice and tired and we're gonna walk straight up here. We're taking Philippa for her first ever Chick-fil-A. We've just been to charge the car, so we're up in Burbank. So I got the chicken deluxe one. I don't know what it's called. Bernie got the grilled chicken and then we got some waffle fries. I actually got this kale crunch salad. Not sure if it's gonna be nice. This is an Philippa's one. So we're putting Chick-fil-A sauce on the burger. <laughs> what else did we get? We got a brownie, lots of Chick-fil-A sauce. Um, we also got an Oreo milkshake, which are really good. That's it, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Get, get your finger in there. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we're back at the apartment. This has felt like quite a long day, probably because I got up so early and it's now about 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna go to bed. My sister is asleep. We did keep her awake until about 9.30. So I'm quite proud of us. She really enjoyed Chick-fil-A. So I'm glad about that as well. We stopped at Whole Foods. We got some yogurts for the morning. Um, I got this chocolate bar, this Tony's Chopper Lonely bar, which I really like. We have this in the UK. I didn't actually realize they had it in America, but I keep seeing it. So this is called the Everything Bar, and it has milk chocolate with caramel, pretzel, almond, nougat, and sea salt. So literally, like, it has everything. And I've already tried it, and it's amazing. So on that note, I'm going to go to bed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good 
Good morning guys. So my sister is here. She's in the back somewhere. <laughs> um, we're actually heading down to the beach today. We're going to go to Getty Villa first. So we've booked a ticket even though the tickets are free but you have to like book a time slot. And so far we are on time. It's a beautiful day. And then I think we're going to head down to Santa Monica and Malibu. Malibu. Yeah, that's, that's the one I was trying to get at. Um, because Philippa has never seen these places before. So I'm excited to show you it. I've been to Getty before and I think it's beautiful, hence why we're going there first. Um, what is this weather? We've just got down to the beach and this is what we're greeted with. We're going to see how warm it is down at Getty, but I'm not going to the beach in this weather. It said it's like 16 degrees down here. It was 24 where we were. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Oh look, 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 blue sky. Told you it's over Getty Villa. I'm just filming the small patch of blue sky that we have right now. <laughs> over there somewhere is the ocean, which is the reason why it's so cloudy right now. The man next to me was just like, did like a, hey Google, what's the temperature right now? <laughs> I think everyone's complaining it's a little bit cold down here. It's people wear like the long coats. <laughs> oh dear. The sun is gonna come out. We've just stopped for a snack and look how big this Rice Krispie tree is. <laughs> it's like a brick. We also got a Diet Coke, a iced latte and a blueberry muffin. Go away. We've just stopped off at Westfield in Century City and we've come to Panda Express. So we've got chow mein and veggies. This is honey sesame chicken, honey walnut shrimp and grilled teriyaki chicken as well, which I've never tried before, but hopefully it's nice. Of course, we've got our fortune cookies and my sister got a bowl. What is it again? The honey sesame. Yeah. Honey sesame with chow mein. And yeah, that's where we are. We just got milkshakes at Chick-fil-A and this is how they spend Bernie. It's like Pernry <laughs> and Pippa is Pepper. <laughs> Pepper Pig. <laughs> My sister got chocolate and Bernie and I got cookies and cream. We've just stopped by the Beverly Hills sign and we are freezing. Oh look at these little seagulls having a little bath. Oh my god, I need the sun to come back out. This is definitely the coldest day we've had. Eloise doing a selfie. I'm trying. Philippa doing a selfie. <laughs> Eloise doing a selfie. Philippa doing a selfie. <laughs> Eloise looking at her selfie. These palm trees are so tall. So we've just looked down these roads and all of the trees are different on each road. So like one road will have palm trees, another road will say have these trees. And then another road will have completely different trees. Like I assume they've, I mean, of course they've done this on purpose, but why? What is, what's the reasoning? Ooh, don't reverse into us, crazy people. You are? Oak. We got these trees and the palm trees. And palm trees and then these trees and then more palm trees. These people, these people are ruining it. They've put palm trees in their front garden. Okay, it's now dark and we're walking up to Griffith Observatory. We are only walking because I think it's so busy, but you basically had to park down the road. Um, but it's not a far walk and I guess it, at least it's warming us up. But um, yeah, we're taking my sister to see LA at night, which is cool. And Griffith is just cool anyway, like the whole building and everything. Um, we went in the day last time, so totally different experience. Bet you didn't think we were coming up for a nighttime hike. <laughs> Me either. Look at the crazy light pollution of LA. So bright. Okay, the little hike up wasn't that bad. It looks so pretty at night, it's all up. And like the stairways and everything, it looks so nice. <laughs> Actually really interesting this literally came from outer space and all of these rocks 
like this. <gasps> what? So they're all meteorites. So they all came from our space. Oh my gosh. They're amazing. There's another one. Crater, How many years ago? The crater is 4,200 feet in diameter. Oh my gosh. 1,000 million miles. So I suddenly feel fascinated by space. Like, so this shows us where we are in the galaxy, in the, in the local group. Like, we are just this tiny, tiny little dot. We are on the roof. This is LA, obviously. I think it's a bit foggy tonight, hence why it's got this like white mist over it. Yeah, this is amazing. You've got like telescopes and stuff as well. <laughs> We're in LA. <laughs> Me and my sister in LA. Oh, hang on. There you go. Yay. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. just walking up Runyon Canyon. This is actually the quietest I think I've seen it in a while, or well, since we've been here this time. We are knackered. <laughs> we're just uh, letting people overtake us now because we were so fast that no one could overtake us. So we've just stopped to let everyone overtake us, you see. Fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> exactly. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do the full thing. Apparently it doesn't actually take us down the route that we would usually go down. It takes us down another route, which is apparently really steep. But I feel like going down isn't as bad as coming up. So we're doing it. So this is the bit that we haven't done yet. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, not compared to what we just walked up. This bit here is actually closed off. It just says no pedestrian access, but everyone else is just walking around the fences. So, so that's what we're doing. So um, I really wouldn't recommend walking the Runyon Canyon Trail this way around because we've just walked up this and we also literally just scaled, the scaled, is that the right word? Scaled the side of this hill I've fallen over two and a half times. The half is because I saved myself, but it's just like this sandy, gravelly kind of stuff the entire way down. And I know I'm not wearing the correct footwear, but still, it's still like a complete danger zone. And funnily enough, we are the only ones walking down. Like every single person is walking up except for us. Um, not to be dramatic or anything, but that was one of the worst hikes I've ever done in my life. Um, <laughs> it was just dangerous. I don't know what it's rated at on all trails, because if that's not hard, I don't know what hard is. Um, we saw a tarantula. I'll insert a picture, so trigger warning for anyone that's scared of spiders. Please skip forwards about five oh, seconds. Yeah. yeah, so um, some lady basically pointed it out and she would thought that was why we took that side of it and there was literally a tarantula in like the groove and bernie was trying to convince me to go down the groove in all fairness he didn't know there was a tarantula there but if i had gone down there i would have had the scare of my life we just popped back to hang on we just popped back to the apartment quickly. I changed my t-shirt, um, had a handful of sweets, <laughs> and now we're heading out for dinner. We're going to a place called, I think it's pronounced Giatta, but I could be totally wrong. It could be like Giatta, I'm not sure. But um, it's like a sandwich shop, and apparently it's really good. Apparently they do like a meatball palm sandwich, meatball palm, a chicken palm sandwich, and a meatball sub, so, that's what I'm looking forward to. Fingers crossed it's good, because I'm really hungry. So this is the place. Can you understand why I couldn't pronounce it now? Or may maybe you guys know. <laughs> but yeah, this looks cool. So apparently I have three locations. This all looks incredible. So this is the meatball palm. I was right, it is a meatball palm. These are arancini balls. This is the chicken palm. And then we've already broken this one, but this one is like a caramel latte 
puff kind of thing. Guys, these sandwiches are incredible. So this is the chicken palm. It's got like two chicken cutlets in it. It's the sauce, like the sauce is just so good. So good. <laughs> the only thing I would say is they're a little bit hard to eat, but the flavor makes up for it. We also got these arancini balls and they are so good, but they're cheesy as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> keeps going I don't want to drop it and you get the sauce with it too and it's, it's just the sauce, the sauce is so good yum we've come to Whole Foods I'm not sure what we're getting but Bernie wanted to come to Whole Foods we've just got back to the apartment Giatta or Giatta or however you pronounce it was really good I thought it tasted really fresh like not fast food. Um, the flavors were amazing, like the sauce that came with the arancini balls and the arancini balls themselves were just incredible. We both found that the bread was our least favorite part. It was just quite like tough and chewy, but I still really enjoyed it. I think I enjoyed it a bit more than Bernie did, but um, it was still really good. Like the meatball palm and the meatball sub, I just thought the flavors of it were really good. So we also went to Whole Foods after that and Bernie is ridiculous. He bought this, <laughs> he bought this slice of cake because they had run out of individual slices of Tres Leches cake and he really wanted a piece of Tres Leches cake, which is the cake that we got the other day from Whole Foods. So this is the size of cake that he bought. It's like a family sharing portion and it was something like $12. So I'm actually pretty full from, from our dinner but <laughs> I'm gonna head to bed because I'm actually really tired. I don't know if it was the walk that tired me out because um, my feet hurt a little bit as well, but I just, just feel really tired. Are my hands okay from the walk now? Yeah, I, like I said, I fell over a couple of times, so I put my hands down on like the little gravelly bit, but um, I'm all good. I'm, I'm not injured, touch wood, other than my current injuries. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.